there. It's Brian Sebastian, Movie Reviews and More, the Women's Broadcast TV Network, Worldwide TV Network, and iTube 247. And here we are talking about Sportamix, Celebrity Connected, all things Russian, <laughs> obviously, which is actually pretty good. All right, so we got a lot of stuff. The Oscars just finished up. Terry, you just got back off, off the road. Talk about who you are, what you do. Uh, Terry and Marie. I'm an entertainment host and fitness personality and Brian's co-host. <laughs> You've been busy doing what? Uh, I've been busy. I don't know. This whole month is just... It's, it's just, all a blur because we've just, all been busy. It just all started. You know, I was in um, Atlanta for Super Bowl. Well, oh, we were in Atlanta for Super Bowl with Sportamix. And then I came back and then I went to Washington, D.C. And then I'm going to Vegas next week. And um, there's a bunch of bunch of stuff going on we just had the oscars um it's been a whirlwind and before that we were in georgia we were at the super bowl uh we were doing two different gifting suites there mm -hmm. i know it's, it seems like last year doesn't it i don't know everything is just running together right now so i'm just trying yeah. to keep keep moving forward you know that's what you do when things get stressful i just move ahead and just keep going <laughs> <laughs> just focus on what i gotta do because otherwise you get distracted and if you try to i think with multitasking or how busy we are, you just have to keep focused because if you start thinking too much, it just, you get crazy. Well, I get crazy anyway. <laughs> and you know who I found? Anna Petrova. <clears throat> Speaking of crazy. <laughs> no, but she's not crazy, but she's actually fun. She's beautiful. It's good crazy. You know, when yeah. you accept you're crazy, it tones mm -hmm. down, so. Absolutely, you said it just like that. All right, talk about where we met and what you have coming up and who are you? Um, my name is Anna Petrova. I'm a human being with mostly female features. <laughs> 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 uh, but uh, you know, what, what I think what you want to hear is um, um, I'm Miss Russian LA 2017, Miss Russian California 2018, and first vice Miss Russian United States. Um, I am an entertainment host as well. I just hosted the red carpet for an Oscars viewing gala. Mm -hmm. and. Uh, um, Which we thought about going, but we were busy. Of course, it's an yeah. Os Oscars night. I mean, it's it's mm -hmm. really hard to choose between events there. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. That's and <laughs> you're, you know, talk about where you came from and how you started when you got before you got to the country here. Because of where you are now, you're doing a lot of things. Thank you. Yes, I do do a lot of things, and um, I've been a dancer my whole life, and I'm still I still am, and uh, I kind of flow in the rhythm of my. <laughs> life, you know, like that's dancing is everything to me. Um, so I, I came to LA for dancing. I was um, oh. I was a ballroom dancer most of my life oh, in Russia. Cool. Oh, I didn't know that. And then I started uh, doing modern dance and all those types of dancing. And then I got super inspired by um, a choreographer, Britney Spears, at that point, who came over to Russia. His name is yeah. Andre Fuentes, and. Uh, He's like you should be. You should be in states. He passed away, unfortunately. Yeah. But uh, such. But he left the lasting being. mark that you became here, huh? Yes, yes. It was like my starting point. I got got inspired. Uh, left Russia, came here, and how long just ago? In two thousand and ten. Okay. And then in a year and a half, I moved to Brazil. Opened a dancing school. Oh, cool. After a year in Brazil, I got bored. I was like, I'm gonna move to Hong Kong now. <laughs> 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 I'm just trying to keep it short, not to not to get you bored, you know. Um, and then uh, I was like, yeah, I don't feel like Chinese mentality, like it's not for me. And so I figured that instead of conquering a new country, I should just learn something. So I came back to LA and got into Los Angeles Film School and learned mm -hmm. everything about entertainment. And um, here I am, and I love hosting, and I love you know, being with you here, it's pretty, pretty much my favorite thing that, right now, so I'm really happy to be here. Thank you for having me. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> and you also did something sport, uh, you know, related to sports, too. Talk about that. Yes. So, uh, I, uh, I am a sport fan. I love fitness. I have to kind of restrict myself uh, from going to the gym because it's like, I love it, mm -hmm. you know? Uh, and uh, apart from dancing, everything that is uh, about body movement uh, is really good for me. And uh, uh, I've done a lot of martial arts when I got bored with dancing. Uh, oh, I'm also running. I run a lot. I just of ran my 15K. Of course you do. <laughs> she I, does everything. I just, I just ran my 15K, was really excited. Um, really? Yeah. Um, for, you. for the first time, and then uh, and then martial arts, so Tai Chi, boxing, kickboxing, Jiu Jitsu, um, what else is out there? You name it. 
Yes, um, See, that's she's well-rounded. Like oh, well, yeah. Exactly. Don't she's very well-rounded. Well, the reason, the reason for that, not only about Miss Russia LA, but also about sports and Terry, you know, because you did a lot of the interviews for Sportamix. Talk about that, what we did in Georgia and what we did the Oscars. Uh, well, we got to interview a ton of athletes. Um, both, Which you were very, very good at doing. Both at the Oscar. Well, that's what I do. <laughs> 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 that should be a given. Anyway, sorry, I'm just I'm <laughs> tooting my own horn here. No. Uh, but yeah, at the at the Super Bowl, at Lee's party, Lee Steinberg's party, we got to interview a bunch of football players. Um, so that was awesome. And then we came back to the Oscars and we had a lot of track and field stars that came to the booth that we interviewed. Um, but it's really kind of cool to see the um, athletes um, enthusiasm about this because there's nothing like this and this is a global mm -hmm. platform. So you know, being, you know, living in other countries, mm -hmm. you know, it's really hard to connect with agents, especially if you want to come over to the uh, to United States mm -hmm. and play or, or maybe even like in your own country because again, it's a global platform. It's like Facebook meets LinkedIn. It's a lot about luck. Like, you're lucky to meet someone who's just taking you somewhere. Well, right? this gives you a way to put yourself in front of those people so it's not so much about luck no. anymore. Mm. For an example, you've all these people that have uh, became famous because of YouTube, and then all of a sudden, they're on a major network, you know, doing stuff based on they got out there and put their talent out on YouTube. So these athletes can do the same thing. Mm -hmm. So it's not so much about luck anymore. It's actually getting your talent in front of the right people. And you have that ability to do it now. If you think about it, Facebook and Instagram has helped so many people with their careers, even if you're a business and you want to get your business name out there through advertisements, which is another great thing about Sport Mix, is that this is a great way to get your company, whether you have um, baseball mitts or, or basketballs or anything you want to market out to, you know, um, to, to children or athletes that are going to be using your equipment, even if you're going to the gym, the sports bands, anything. The, the, what this platform can do is limited, limitless. I mean, and this is something that, that obviously would have been good for you when you were doing, because mm -hmm. you were doing many things already, which is actually really good. I actually have a funny story about <laughs> of presentation. Of course you do. <laughs> Let me hear it. Uh, I was 16, it was one of my first modeling jobs. I was always like a gymnast, a dancer, right? So there was a sort of a, a similar company that was presenting a new new things in sport, and I was promoting those... Um, Apple, uh, the, uh, the, like uh, no, uh, Nordic, uh, Nordic Walk. Oh, yeah. Apple, yeah. Wait, no, I can, why can't I think right No, no, Apple, no not Apple, like no. the, oh. the, the sticks for walking. Oh, Oh, you know, okay. so so I would go. Uh, I'll try to keep it short. So I would like we, we rehearsed. I would go like up to the stage and then on the thread meal I like do things like play with them while the guys telling like oh this and like good features here, good features there. And so once I get there and everyone's so excited to see me because it's boring and mm -hmm. I'm the only model there and he's like yeah and those sticks for walking are made of a super proof material and I <clears throat> and I try it on my leg you and the quiet it. in the quiet room there is this huge crack <laughs> 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 and the guy turns purple and the blue and then it's like oh uh. <laughs> oh my god am I still going to be, am I still going to be paid <laughs> oh, that's funny was it in Russia in Russia mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. no wonder you had to leave right oh god. yeah yeah, yeah we had to. <laughs> well no the good thing about Sport Mix it's uh, hashtag Sport Mix uh -huh. at Sport Mix live on Instagram uh, which is actually really good, and it's built up because we were talking last week with Jean and Eve, uh, Eve Modern about all the stuff that they were doing, and the signups are phenomenal. They've grown a great deal, which is actually really, really good. So, with that, give your social media. Uh, nonstop Terry Marie on all platforms. Anna underscore A underscore Petrova. And mine is, I always use YouTube, I'm bigger on YouTube, movie reviews and more, movie reviews, the letter N more, uh, on YouTube. So, with that, we got a lot of movies coming up now, which is actually quite interesting. I've seen, uh, this is good time, do, do you watch Showtime at all? Or you I, don't have, I, have, I don't have Showtime, I have HBO and I have uh, Netflix, 
and pray. Okay. Well, Game of Thrones is coming back mm -hmm. real soon. Last season, obviously, obviously for that. Mm -hmm. The you, streets are going to get, get empty then. Yeah. What do you watch when you get a chance? Oof. Um, are you a Netflix person? I love show TV time shows. I, I love I love comedy. Yeah. And I love TV shows. Um, well. I'm I'm floating between like dark comedy and stupid comedy, <laughs> <laughs> and I, I really love sci-fi stuff like Black Mirror. Oh uh, yeah, that's stuff. a creepy oh, though yeah, because yeah, it's so yeah, realistic. Yeah, yeah. It creeps okay, me out. Uh, oh yeah, I love it. I love it too. But it's really <laughs> creepy yeah. and disturbing because it's so close to reality of yeah. the stuff that can happen. Like that one episode where they had the. Um, uh, the credits for uh, social living and stuff, and then you had to have so many credits to be able to just have yep. to, like, that's scary. I don't want somebody judging well, me. That yeah, it's that happening. Way. You go well, to the Uber, and they're like, three stars, and they're like, uh. Mm. <laughs> yeah, then they will come pick you up. I'm in trouble. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. But anyhow, this is, you know, the Oscars are finished. This is a great time to start to go to the movies because now all good movies coming out. So, uh, what is that one? Um, Fighting with My Family, The Rock. The biggest entertainer in the world right now, in the world of sports, mm -hmm. Dwayne Johnson. So we are family, fighting with the family, which is really, really good. I don't think you saw that yet, right? No, I haven't, haven't seen it yet. Have you seen it yet? It's very, very good. I mean, it's very emotional. It can, actually, for me, it gets the four E's. It's entertaining, it's exciting, it's engaging. Uh, and it is emotional because it talks about uh, a woman whose goal in the world of sports mm -hmm. was to be a wrestler. Her son, her, 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 mm -hmm. her son, or, I'm not a son, her brother helped train her <clears throat> and he was the one that was supposed to be chosen but he wasn't she was wow and it's based on a true story on the wrestler page so now page is the youngest wwe diva who we will mm -hmm. talk to you in the future to be a champion so it's it's sort of like not giving up your gold mm -hmm. and doing it what it takes coming from another country and, and that's also, which is not easy yeah. when you don't have friends to come over with you just to, to help support that's not easy mm -hmm. so those things like that are really really good on showtimes it's teddy pendergrass the uh, movie teddy pendergrass for all those women uh my god he was he used to make women swoon with his voice turn out the lights and the party's over everything like that is actually really good so there's a lot of really really good things coming out right now uh, the world of fitness for you. What's been going on? The Arnold just finished in Ohio. I know. I didn't get to go. I know. Did you hear anything? <laughs> no, I haven't heard anything yet. I, I just, I can barely like breathe right now. So I haven't heard anything yet. Sorry. But you being in that world of fitness, yeah. talk about what you're working on yourself right now. Um, well, I'm going to be trying to do um, the NPC show in coming up in May. That's my kind of goal to do. So I need to... For me, um, it's not getting into the gym, it's the diet. It's just, that's the challenging thing, and I think it is for, for most people, you know. What so, are you working on right now, core-wise for yourself, would you say? I'm training a couple of my girlfriends. Okay. That don't want What's wanna, that like? It's fun, because, well, they don't want to, com I actually enjoy training them, because they don't want to compete in fitness, but they're, you know, in their 40s and they want to, um, you know, just, they, they're like, what? How come you look so good? I would be, I would, it's, it's kind of a, it's flattering, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. To like help them. But then, you know, it's, it's, it's rewarding to have your friends say, you know what? You're really, really helping me. I'm seeing results. People are asking me who's That's training good. me. And uh, so my friend Liz just went to Thailand and she's like, yeah, I was able to wear a bathing suit. And I, you know, I, Isn't I'm that really, nice? I'm really calm feel good, and it made me feel really good. And I trained her last night. So that's really, that, that that's probably more rewarding than actually winning the trophy, you know, at NPC. I mean, I, I like trophies, you know, don't get me wrong, but I'm just saying, you know, to get that, you know, encouragement to really help women. And as you know, like, you know, after the age of 40, you don't have to fall apart. True. You know, there's Botox, but you know, Botox can only do so much. <laughs> So and you, you know what it's like coming over from another country where you're just constantly being in shape and you have to always put that game face on even when you don't want to. What's that like? Oh, um, I'm pretty lucky with the self-motivation uh, and mm -hmm. I'm trying to pass it along because there are times when we don't want to do things and you yep. have to mm -hmm. be kind to yourself and sometimes allow yourself to slow down yep. to then like pick it up, you know, instead of just like breaking and like and say no i'm just like not gonna do anything now and mm -hmm. i'm done you know so it's 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 fine it's phases uh but yeah as i as i said i'm i'm <laughs> i have to slow down on self-development sometimes because i'm like oh i'm gonna take this course and this fitness thing and this like that and that 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 you know so yeah i, I do do love that well the other thing i have to talk about okay so 
we were at my assistant Michelle's house in mm -hmm. Columbus, obviously. Mm -hmm. So we had an Ergo cooker, and I don't know if you can't see this, mm -hmm. but I couldn't bring the cooker back with me because it wouldn't fit in the suitcase. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. But it's there at her house. So when she was when we were leaving, they were tearing down the house. The house mm -hmm. is yeah, they're now. remodeling. So they had to cook this. I don't know if the camera can How see does it this. Work? Um, it's a very, very good cooker, and what it is, it makes it's. it's uh, the reason I chose it because it's equal friendly, all natural, and that's good for you. Is and it you cooked know. without oil? Is that the, yeah? You can yeah, do okay. that too. Wow. So it's a it's a five in one programming cooking system. It can be used for crepe makers, stuff like that. It's a mini oven, mm -hmm. indoor grills, air fryer, which I really, really like, and it's really good. So Frank and June out of uh, BC, Canada, they they actually created it, oh. and you get it. You can get it on Amazon, and it's definitely worth having. And I need to get another one because I hate the fact that it's in Georgia. <laughs> and I can't use it. And that I couldn't take it That's back with me. It's kind of hard to use it when it's in Georgia. Yeah. Yes, exactly. Jealousy. But you can get it on Amazon and it's called Ergo uh, 360, uh, which is good. Ergo, Ergo Cooking 360. How big is it? Com. It's about this big. Oh, wow. But it's on the counter? Serious stuff. Yeah. And if I could have put it in my suitcase to take it back, I would have. You would have. I would have. But it's really, really good. And talk about what it's like to eat healthy, and you already know. Talk about what it's what it's like for you to be on the road and not eat healthy. I eat healthy on the road. What are you talking about? Okay. <laughs> what, what are you eating when you're on the road? Um, the audience wants to know. Uh, well, basically, it's just um, well, obviously, I can't like food prep, but I mean, it, I it's just I kind of use logic when I order food that to ask them not to put any. The easiest way to say I don't I'm allergic to gluten and I can't eat dairy. That kind of eliminates a lot of the okay. stuff. Surf sauces and that kind of stuff. So just try to eat chicken, fish, vegetables, and rice, and you know potatoes, and just eat healthy fats. I mean, it's not that difficult. I mean, no, but it is difficult. I guess it is difficult it if you don't know how, if you don't know how to eat, and you. But I'm so trained that I know like what I can eat, and I know if I eat the wrong food. But the average person is not. So you, yeah. that's why they're coming to you. Yeah. you know, because they want to look like yeah, you. Yeah, it, yeah. It's basically you know just eat your healthy proteins and try to eat vegetables. Try to have your vegetables steamed. Try to have, you know, potato or rice without the heavy sauces on it. I mean, you, you don't have to be perfect, but I mean, it's again, it's just like the things that sneak up on you are the sauces and the sugar. It's right. really the sugar is the problem with mm. our food here in that because all your processed food has sugar in it. Sugar causes cancer. Right. Sugar makes you fat. There's just nothing good about sugar. Right. Except for, for it you. makes you very happy for a very short period of time. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's true. And that is true. But you're not happy. You're not happy if you're not unhealthy, in the long though. Term, in long term, yes. you're not. Yeah. No. Yeah. You don't want to be diabetic. No. Or have high blood. No. <laughs> high blood pressure. Yeah, exactly. For you, that model, do you mind being called that? Or is you, because you are everything when, you, when mm. it comes down to it. What do you use? What are you usually eating? Actually, speaking of sugar, um, I want... One time I just cut all the sugar out for nine months, wow. all of it, like mm -hmm. sauces, mm -hmm. I didn't you have to use ketchup, mm -hmm. like anything. And then all of my processes in my body became perfect. Like, you know, like even like the cycle, excuse me, mm -hmm. you know, yeah. but, but it's important. That your body women. was, yeah. And then I, and then, <laughs> and then I was pregnant. <laughs> <laughs> and then that helped me through uh -huh. the pregnancy so oh, much. Yeah, and then yeah. after that, you know, I just kind of started, like, I stopped craving sugar. I yeah, can once eat, you detox from it. I can from eat it. a dessert once in a while, but I'm not crazy about it yeah. anymore. Interesting. Um, and then the pregnancy makes your body very intuitive, too. So now uh, I'm just, like, I know that uh, if I restrict myself from something, I'm going to want it more. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. for me, it's about the balance when you can eat something satisfying, in a small amount mm -hmm. instead of like trying to go all green like allowing yourself something mm -hmm. a little bit so then you don't have this release when you're like uh -huh. oh i don't want to like eat everything so no. it's just just about uh, it is about balance, balance yeah. yeah and that's what you people don't get is you just have to learn how to eat healthy and then you know that's the concept of cheat meals in fitness when you're competing for our body thing is, yeah. is pretty good with that do you know tim ferris for our body mm -hmm. thing? yeah yeah Interesting. What's what's it, what is it for you? How do you um, look so? <laughs> I, I I don't look as good as you guys do. That's for sure. <laughs> but I'm always learning. I'm always. That's why I always ask because uh, I always want to know what what Terry's going to have because we go out a lot and I'm like, okay, what's she going to order? What can't she have? Mm -hmm. That to me is interesting because a lot of people they have a hard time 
what what they're supposed to have and what they're really not supposed to have. I mean, I've taken breaks in my diet because I just, I don't know, kind of got in a, I don't know, a mood where, like, all the holidays and stuff, but then mm -hmm. I get back on it. You know, again, you but, have to live. But that's also discipline for you, though. That doesn't mean it's, it's well, easy. Well, I mean... I mean, it's just like sometimes like I want to, I mean, the holidays, I just kind of want to like let loose and not worry about it so much. But then after the holidays are over, I'll get back on my, you know, schedule. Mm -hmm. So again, like you said before, it's about balance. I mean, you can't, you know, I mean, there's some people that are so strict that it becomes unhealthy. And I see, and I'm not, I've seen a lot of athletes take addict there where they've been addicted to like either drugs or alcohol and gotten to fitness. And then they carry that over into their fitness and it's not healthy. You know, because they're no, so, it's, it's obsessive compulsive behavior and it's uh, not healthy. It really comes down to being kind to yourself. Yeah. When you're mm -hmm. kind to yourself, you're not going to overeat sugar. You're well, gonna, no, you're, gonna, but, but also, you're going to be like, uh, yeah, I can have a little bit, you know? So no, I, yeah, but I'm not talking about some yeah. people that get obsessive about their workout, their, that they eat. I mean, it's just because it, uh, addictions can be turned into anything. Mm -hmm. And anything, even fitness, even your diet, even if you're doing healthy, can be unhealthy. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? Absolutely. Yeah. So th that's the thing is, is that, you know, people try to get into this to overcome addictions and then it's still a problem because mm -hmm. then they're not spending time with their family mm -hmm. they're, and they're not doing other things that they need to have a, 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 a healthy life. Balance. A balanced life, <laughs> yes, exactly. What was it like mm -hmm. um, when you were eating what you could eat, what you couldn't eat when you were in Russia, and then when you got here to America. Oof. And then where you are now, <clears throat> keeping your frame and everything like that. And after that, talk about Miss LA Russia. That's a great question because every mm -hmm. Russian I know who comes to States gains weight at first because mm -hmm. bigger portions, genetically modified food. food. Yeah, that's the biggest problem. Food and just like mm -hmm. sugar everywhere, as you said. Mm -hmm. So you were like, Pfft. Yeah, and then you're going back to Russia. You you just like you can eat anything then you they want, go, but you, you just overweight you American. Did they say that? <laughs> <laughs> well, it's true though, because when I was in Iceland, I mean, if you could taste the difference in the food, yeah. where the butter tastes better, everything tastes better. Yeah. But if you have a piece of bread with butter at a restaurant in Iceland, yeah. I was telling Brian like. I, didn't, I can have one piece yeah. and I didn't crave it where, there, again, it's the added sugar in there that makes you want to mm -hmm. eat and eat and eat and eat, right. eat and it's, it's just, it's just really crazy and you really notice it when you travel abroad. Right, absolutely. But then, you know, a uh, human body gets used to everything. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, then you're like, oh well, I can eat that too yeah. and it's still going to be moving. So. That's yeah. true, that's true. Yeah, so I... And on that uh, note, I think it's important to have bad food sometimes. Like, I, yeah. I'm, well, that's interesting. Why do you say that? Uh, because, because you know, if you don't, I don't well, it's, it's, kind, it's kind of like it, a, a oh, medicine, you know. Yeah. Like then, then you breathe next to chocolate and you gain weight, you know. Well, it's for your thyroid, basically. You know, again, like that's. Um, if you're eating same kind of calories all the time, you mm -hmm. have to kind of fool your body, otherwise mm -hmm. your thyroid gets used to it and then you're not, you know, yeah. your metabolism yeah. slows down. Yeah, yeah, so. and it's important to eat <clears throat> that, mm -hmm. uh, like avocado, just. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, when, when you get used to all green diet, again, you're gonna, take a tiny little piece of chocolate and then you're going to be like, what is yeah. happening? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 Again, it goes back to your yeah. thyroid. So it's important. Yeah. important. Talk about what's coming up for you uh, March 24th with Leica. Uh, yeah, March 24th is uh, uh, Miss Russia Los Angeles 2019. It's going to be a very cool competition and Leica is improving uh, the whole process every year. And uh, there's going to be more celebrity, mm -hmm. more celebrity judges, more presents, more sponsors, uh, beautiful Russian girls, obviously. And uh, uh, I think is she is she shooting reality show this year? Yeah, she is. Yeah, so reality show it's it's also a big part of that. So we're probably going to see some drama, you know. Where's the reality <laughs> of that drama? And. Um, I'm going to be hosting the red carpet, yep. so I'll be happy Yay. to see you guys there. Oh, we'll be there. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. perfect. Yeah, and so talk about where they can get tickets, because you are a past winner, obviously. Mm -hmm. Whew. Uh, Event Cartel uh, is the website, yep. I believe, 
for that. And it's, I don't think they're like super expensive. I, I'm, no. I'm not sure. It's, it is a really, really good event. I didn't go last year. I was in uh, Tennessee. I went the year before and I was I was surprised how well uh -huh. it was put together and how many people were there. And it's beautiful. They the get a lot, she gets a lot beautiful. of celebrities and she she does a great job. I was really impressed by that. Yeah, and you know, it's just... Uh, so impressed that Terry's coming this year. <laughs> <laughs> uh, she does take care of everything, of the yeah. girls. Like, there is there is not not a thing like, oh, we weren't fat, you know, oh, we were, uh, oh there was no what, or mm -hmm. anything. She's just taking care of everything it's really good so again march 24th march 24th and it's an it's not just a beauty pageant it's a contest of beauty <coughs> talent mm -hmm. and intellect the intellect part gets funny sometimes you know <laughs> <laughs> because it's just you know girls are smart but sometimes it's, most people have fear of uh Talkies, speaking public speaking yeah. public spe speaking we don't know that Right? We're like, what is that? But for most uh -huh. people, it is an issue. But the talent uh, shows uh, are uh, pretty great. And, uh, and of course, you know, the bikini contest and all those, all, all that fun stuff. See, I didn't care about that. <laughs> I'm, I'm only kidding. No, no it, was, it was good to see. But I know it was some of the performers that flew over. I was like, I, I was really, really well, impressed. Well, you were there when I won. Yeah. And I was dancing. I think I was. I did ballroom dancing with like. It's lifts funny. And it's one of those things where we, we met, we talked. I have an interview with you on our channel, but we didn't know each other then. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yeah, it's funny how life sometimes brings people together mm -hmm. in the right time and the right place. Speaking we got of two which, minutes. Talk about, <laughs> uh, real quick, because you got We got to go. Um, give you social media, and then what else is coming up for you? Um, Anna underscore A underscore Petrova. That's that's my Instagram. Yeah, um, Miss Russian LA putting together. I, I mean, you'll you'll see it. Just follow me. You'll you'll see what's coming. And she has some funny <laughs> things on there. It's just quite humorous. A little bit uh, of a clown. Which is good. All right, Terry, for you. <laughs> oh, where can you find me on Terry Marie nonstop Instagram, Facebook? And uh, then what are you in competition with right now? Oh, I'm. Uh, oh I'm, yes, right. Oh yeah, yeah. Uh, right now I am uh, in the Jet Set model search. Um, West Coast Group 3, so vote for me to be on the cover of Jet Set Magazine. I'm going now. I'm, I'm going to vote now. Yes. <laughs> and I'm Brian Sebastian. This is Movie Reviews and More, the Women's Broadcast TV Network, Worldwide TV Network, and IT247. And it was fun to have everybody here. You guys meet for the first time, and we will see you next week. Oh, and if you see someone without a smile, please give them one of yours, because the world needs it. Bye, guys. Bye. <laughs>